Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to play with the type ORM 3.x APIs like what all changes and how we can change our existing code. So I just have this restaurant food ordering service where we are we are creating restaurant and restaurant dish menu items and there is a one to many relationship with the restaurant and the restaurant dish. So this is the restaurant and this restaurant ID is acting as a foreign key in the restaurant dish. Here you can see it's a one to many and this is a many to one. The join column is the restaurant ID and then there is a restaurant address which is storing the restaurant ID as a foreign key. So it's like a simple one, two, three different entities and we are just creating the restaurant service and the restaurant dish service. So here this is how we are playing. We are creating the restaurant. We are okay, trying to get the restaurant by ID, creating the restaurant and doing a simple random search. So let's try to see how we can use the, the latest APIs for it. Okay. So I will start with the search. So search was look like this earlier. I mean, I will just try to see how we can leverage the, the new changes. So instead of a connection, what I can do is I can just start using data source, right? It will give you the repository and then you can just uh, write your code. Here, what we are doing is data source dot get repository. And this is where we am, I'm doing, I'm doing a left join. And if search text is there, then I'm just doing a query builder, query dot add where close with the brackets. So if you want to just add or condition among a two end conditions, then you can use the brackets. And here I'm just doing a simple search. Uh, here it is checking if search, search text is there, then just do the end close or inside this end close search text matching with the, uh, the name or maybe a description or maybe a restaurant name. So all these, if it is matching one of them then it is satisfying the condition and then query dot skip and take. So if I try to change this with my new implementation, what I will do is I will do this dot restaurant report dot find. So here you can specify what all columns you wanted to fetch. So I'm just saying I just need name title description about the restaurant all these columns I need from this find query and where clause okay whatever the where clause you wanted to apply I think there is a like also we can specify something like this and here inside this we can simply put the double quotes if this is because this is the dynamic expression I will just say because this is a like query and before that I will put percentage so this is how you can perform the like operations and the relations whatever the relations you wanted to populate you can perform it like this okay so I'm just looking for all these different properties delivery time dishes delivery options all the columns which you wanted to uh, add inside a select statement and any where clause. So what it is doing right now it it is a uh, end if I try to add something like this name. So let's say I'm just adding a description. So both these will become end condition. Search text if you wanted to convert this into an array then we need to just use brackets or something find one options where so these are the two where clause we have added and then here also you can specify how many elements you wanted to fetch like take uh, I just wanted to fetch five elements and here we can also specify how many you wanted to skip right so this is a, like a pagination right so here we are performing the pagination options and now let's try to run this because I'm returning this now this is a dead code I can comment this code which is existing code which is using query builder okay I just tried a random search let's see if it works so it is because now if you try to see the query what it is returning running restaurant.name and restaurant.description so there is a end close being triggered here so I will just let's say make it only one for now swiggy app and I got the data right because the name is getting matched with whatever I'm passing 
So if I wanted to pass this as an array, and this is one of the object, and then another object is like this, where I wanted to pass description. And let's see if it it should be now uh, using or condition. Yes, I got it right. Now it is doing or. Here you can see restaurant dot name or restaurant dot description. That's good. This is what I want. Okay, so this is how you can convert the end to the or conditions. Just use an array and just split them into a different objects. Relations. I am all. You can also populate like which relations you wanted to populate. Select statement. Whatever the columns you wanted to use. So this is like the change API, right? This is how we will be doing from now. Otherwise, we can just migrate the existing to the data source dot get repository, and then just do the same thing. Create restaurant, which is just using the data source and transaction based approach. Here, let's say if I wanted to get a particular restaurant, so there is a get restaurant by ID, right? So let's say if I have this restaurant ID, and I wanted to get that particular restaurant data. So I will just pass this, execute. This will give me the data, and it is giving me the the address object. Dishes is an empty object. So how it is happening right now? We are using the the legacy one, find one, where relations and all. Let's change it, right? So here find one. It is giving us only a single object, and on top of that we are doing dishes. It's good. So but still we can just tweak this. So where ID and the relations, we can pass the dishes through. This is what I wanted to fetch, where ID equal to this, right? So I mean this clause is correct, correct right now because we wanted to fetch only one particular object, but you can still do all these different other things. Okay, I wanted to fetch ID, name is true. ID is true, and you can just do a skip, take whatever the operations you wanted to perform. So this will give you the response object, and then here we are again doing a find one, right? Find one, and it is using the where clause. So this is perfectly fine. It is giving us the ID and address and object, right? So this is you can do get address by get restaurant by ID, create restaurant, update restaurant, search. I just try to I try to customize the search operations transaction we have already seen. So now you can also play around with these things uh, in any other example. Let's say this one, this restaurant dishes. So I think you are getting a restaurant ID. How would I list the dishes of a restaurant? So this is here we are getting a search text means you are just passing a particular uh, text name like the dish name and you are trying just trying to populate all the dishes uh, matching with that particular name. So here we are just doing a join with the restaurant dishes with the restaurant. And here you can see we are doing a name like description like ingredients or any like you are passing and then we are doing order by. So with the type ORM 3.x all those things I think I can manage in just like a simple query. What I need to do is I am just doing a find operation on the restaurant dish entity. Okay. So maybe I will just try to write it and then let's see this. So this is return await this dot restaurant dish repo dot find okay inside this you will pass this bulky object and what this object will contain here you will specify all the different criterias this is a keyboard problem and then here you will specify select let's say id name restaurant this contains the id and name and id you need to just mark them through Otherwise, they won't work. So name is true. So this is find operation. And then you can just build on top of that. We are going to select these two columns. And then the relations. 
so here we can just make the relations with the restaurant true so it will try to fetch the data from there also okay so what is this complaining about restaurant to do is not assignable to the find option relations is true so restaurant dish repository okay this is pointing the restaurant dish entity and then here we have restaurant so restaurant is true and then what we can do is we can do a limit and take here we can also perform the where operation this is what i will do generally inside this you can specify all the where clause name description name like and now because the like operator is really helpful here and here you will pass okay what is the the name i mean the search text you are getting and this is like so okay it can be matched with the name it can be matched with the description so this is same thing we are doing name description and or ingredients let's see i'm doing only for two name and description that is in the where close okay after that filter type so here we are doing order by right so the same thing is once the where close is done you can start playing with order so order here what we are doing is order by ascending okay so restaurant dish dot price so here we are doing order based on particular column price okay how it should be ASC or so this is how you can do order by and then you can just do skip number of elements 5 take what is your pagination size 10 so here I'm doing a where close I'm doing a particular ascending descending ordering just selecting a particular column associating that with the relationship so all these operations whatever I was doing with the query builder I can do with just a simple find operations this is what I was talking about the changes major changes in the APIs and this is how you can do a simple you can update the search APIs with this type of change other than that okay this is how we create insert update are still the same only the find now we have find options where you can specify the whole object like find one this is correct api here we are passing the where close this is also looks correct find one okay so this is just a summary uh, like uh, how we are doing it and now i mean you might understood like uh, in the purpose grace you can also have a jsonv column have you ever seen this kind of scenario where you want to have a JSONV column. So what I will do is, let's say I wanted to create a JSONV column. So here restaurant address. So here I can just say JSONV. So this is how you can have a JSONV column and the type because this is going to be the object. So either you have some restaurant interface defined which contains all the restaurant property. Otherwise this is going to be something like this. And here you can just uh, generate a migration see the apps migration generate food order v5 already exists but it is generated so we just move this to here and i can see that restaurant address is added which is jsonv not null it's better if it is nullable I mean we can change it we can just uh, drop this not null constraint and then if i wanted to apply it then npm run migration run and it will create this column jsonv column and to save the data in the jsonv you can just pass the payload with any data so why it is failed if you see restaurant address of relation contains the null values okay that is correct correct because what i said is not null but when you are running the migrations what i'm saying is i wanted to have this as a not null but th there already a record exists so in that case you cannot have a not null constraint enabled since the beginning so here uh, json b default null i need to create the migration is it creating the the new migration so here jsonb and 
so i added a default not null so this is alter table and then alter table restaurant add restaurant address json b i think we should be good with this migration just rename the files because this is a timestamp when you have created a migration and we are tracking it so we need to take care of that so i just delete that migration run okay it has done that so might be what it has done let's see migration food order last execute statement yes it has added this jsonb column right so now uh, if you wanted to store the data inside a jsonb column it's just nothing but inside a dto you are accepting let's say address address is coming as an object so if i wanted to put some data inside uh inside this particular property which is restaurant address so how can i do that a simple restaurant service here i'm creating a restaurant object so restaurant here inside a payload we are passing the the restaurant address also so this is payload and inside the payload i can just override it let's say so what you can see is restaurant address because this is a restaurant entity and i already have a restaurant address on this entity restaurant address equal to we are passing some address right so that address we are getting from here payload dot address what's happened with this not the payload but the created restaurant we can do something like this so here this is my payload and then restaurant address we just add this new property with the payload dot address so here you are specifying the address object also so this is how you should be able to store because restaurant address is now just another column you just need to pass this in any form of array of object object or do some validations and pass it so this is how you can store the jsonb columns and you can also query to the jsonb columns using query builder i can try to show you something restaurant dish do we have something here and here we are doing a like query also like a query only but in json object what the json object is is as a column it contains the key value pair or there can be an array of object so you should have a json um, postgres json b apis to query those particular columns uh, and the, those fields so this is pretty much like this is how we are just generating the migrations and applying the migrations so here i will do migration run it's applied so in the next video now we can close this uh, nice js type orm thing and we'll start focusing more on the prisma like other orm also we are covering orm prisma mongodb with the type goose and uh, mongoose and uh, then uh, prisma uh, mysql mongodb all these are the remaining so then we can close this module and proceed with the module 3 there we will look uh, at some points about the testing in the nest js